Morning guys, about, looks like about 10.30. Took a uh, short day at work today at the hourly wage gig. Started snowing out. It was time to get home because the pass gets icy and people get into accidents and stuff and I don't stick around for that nonsense because I don't want to be part of it. Anyways, got a couple of things today. Well, let's start with a very small unboxing. I will stick a link down in the description below for this one. Straight from China slash Japan. They always package things so nicely from that country. I don't know what it is. I think they're obsessed with it. But it is a bunch of... Let's see if I can get a better shot there. There we go. It's a bunch of 24 volt relays. Um, if you remember, I have some 12 volt relays in my ammo box or ammo can that I have on the dash. And eventually, um, since the signal is 24 volts and some of them are 12 volt, they will eventually give out. So I'm going to replace those. So yeah, just a few of them, handful of them, and they have styrofoam all over them. For whatever reason okay on to the next thing so the other thing I want to do today is I want to see if this will fit in the battery box if it will it'll be a pretty easy install I just got to connect 24 volt 12 volt and ground I'm not too sure what's gonna happen when I turn the truck on since the alternator is dual voltage and this is meant for a single voltage alternator um, the smoke may come out, it might not work ever again, or it may be just fine. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out today. So hopefully i got enough space in the battery box. I might have to move some stuff around, but we'll get that uh, installed. And wow, the uh, snowflakes are getting bigger and more intense. So this should be interesting. Anyhow, I think I'll start with the cab, get those relays replaced, and then we'll go from there.
I got everything mounted up and wired um, just so you guys know before I hook this terminal here up to the uh, 12 volt side of the batteries this terminal was putting out 13 and a half volts so it was just the 24 volt and the ground hooked up it was putting out 13 and a half volts that would be good hint hint if you only had a 24 volt alternator huh you see what I'm getting at here in an upcoming episode you're gonna see something that's gonna change the way people deal with the alternators on these trucks so stay tuned for that but for right now I'm gonna start up the truck like I said I don't know what's gonna happen when this sees a uh, higher voltage it might let the smoke out of it and then it won't ever work again and so this whole project is bunk or It'll work like it's supposed to. So let me get the truck started up here. Oh, um, I just stuck the battery tender in here. It's not mounted to anything. And then I had some left leftover rubber mat from doing the interior. And so I just stuck that in there. So that's in between the breakers and um, the bottom of the battery box. All right, let's get the truck started and see what happens here.
see the voltage there? I'm gonna get on the other side. I don't see any smoke and I don't see anything burning up, so I'm gonna consider myself lucky so far. Like we got 28.3 volts. I have 14.1. And it doesn't seem like it's getting hot. It's not making any funny noises. There's a... Uh, let's see if I can show this to you guys here. Hold on a second. There's a little light down here. <clears throat> a little green light. Right there. And when that's lit up like that, it shows that it's balancing the batteries out. When it goes off, it means the batteries are balanced. And it looks like it's getting pretty dim. It's really bright when it's, uh, there's a big uh, difference. I only know this after reading the instructions, so. It looks like uh, everything is behaving the way it should. On the 12 volt side, I've got, you know, 14.2 volts. That's good. So to me, it looks like everything worked the way it's supposed to. I'm gonna call that successful. Shut this off. So yeah, for 100 bucks, 125 bucks shipped, one of these little equalizers here seems to be doing okay. The light is on now. Let's see what it, uh, what the voltage is now with the truck off. We'll check um, both sides of the battery. There's two 12 volt sides and a 24 volt side. So let's uh, test all of that. It should be balancing the 24 volts between um, between everything so um, let's see here this is the 12 volt side that I pull power off of looks like it's float it's floating it at 13.1 um, 24 volt sitting at 26.2 26.3 and then if we go to the secondary side of 12 volts. Yeah, the secondary side on the 12 volts is also at 13.1. So it is doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is balancing uh, the batteries out. So that's good. All right, cool. That was a good install for today. One more test. I plugged the uh, battery tender in. So the battery tender puts out uh, two and a half amps at 24 volts. So you can see the light on there. Um, it's charging right now. That means that the equalizer should be pushing um, voltage over to the 12 volt side. And it is, it's, it's holding that 13 volts pretty steady. Let's see what the other side is. Yeah, 13.1 and 13, that's pretty good. Yep, yeah, 
doing what it's supposed to do. It's, it's bouncing it back up to 13.1 on this side too, so. Sweet. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for today's episode. If you like the information I gave to you guys today, or you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, hit like, subscribe, and as always, I will catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.